Hi guys, it's been so long since I've done a garden update. But I always whisper because I don't like people hearing me talk to myself. Um, but I'm going to give you a quick little tour. It's not raining today. It's been raining a lot. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I have my blue basil, basil, which is a blue spice variety. And I'm putting, I'm separating them and putting them in here. And then I'll show you my garden tour. Um, I've done a little bit of changing. So here is my plant and I'm just separating them into this. That's what I'm doing right now. But I will show you everything that I've got. So here we have my some of my tomatoes. This is the granny throwing, and then these are 42 days. It's definitely not 42 days for me. Um, the deal is just not wanting to grow. Um, basil, basil, chili, one chili shishito after I tried so hard to grow these. I don't think it's been warm enough. I completely failed at growing early jalapeno. Um, I tried twice and both times no germination. So maybe it's the seeds that I have. Um, I just took two of these out and put them here. So this is Thai Siam Queen and then all of these are blue basil spice, um, basil. Here I have three okra, see my early jalapeno, just nothing. It's raining, it hasn't been enough sun. It's not cold, but it's not as hot as I'd like it to be either. Um, I've got three capsicum on second attempt and one shishito tried to grow but then it died um, it just wasn't strong enough so out of everything I only got one shishito so hopefully it produces because that was what I was most excited for this year um, lemon basil oregano I need to separate and then I have one eggplant that might grow I don't know it's pretty weak African horned cucumber I'm really excited about I have one in here that's growing a bit better um, just need a little bit more sun and then we have corn so I've had four there because my first germination I only got one and I tried to get ten I've got four five six seven I really wanted eight to ten but I don't even know if they're going to grow in this kind of weather. It's just too rainy. Um, I have not got a successful germination with watermelon. This is my second attempt. Um, it's just these summery fruits that need a lot of heat and sun. And it's just been raining too much, I think. Um, because if I do this too late, I won't get watermelon, will I? I'm going to keep trying because I really want one watermelon plant. Second attempt on zucchini failed. Here are more tomatoes that were over here. I've just put them in pots. And these are all my amaranth. I've given some away. Some did not grow fast enough, so I plucked them. And um, these are my strongest five. I probably don't need all of these, but we're gonna see how we go. I'm saving this seed pod from the pak choy and it's slowly getting there. I wanna actually save a seed from that. Um, more basil. That is lemon balm. I put some of my compost on it, which is why it all looks a little bit ugly. Um, but these are lettuce leaf basils. Two here, one here. I think that's a capsicum. There's another lettuce leaf basil. And then here we have candy melon, second attempt. I actually just, because I saved this seed from an actual candy melon from Coles, I just threw a whole bunch of seeds and I did get quite a few. So I've given a couple away, but here we have one, two, three candy melons. Then we have button squash green tint. One, two. Uh, no, one, two button squash. I gave some away to my friend who likes to garden because I don't need too many. Um, cucumber double yield, two of those. And then bean rattlesnake, I have one here, but I've already planted two that I'll show you in the garden. And then here is my best capsicum so far. Um, so let's, I planted one of the squashes here. I don't know how it's gonna go. It's been raining so much. I think it's just gonna 
eventually die. These are my um, potatoes. I need to get more compost or mulch of some kind um, because they're growing faster than I can keep up with. So there are six in there. The two at the back, the, the line at the back is old, older and this is newer by two weeks. Um, so there's just a lot going on here. These are the determinant, determinant, determinant potatoes, but they're bigger than the indeterminant. They're just massive and I grew them at the same time as those. Maybe it's the sunspot positioning, I don't know, but they're just out of control to the point where you can't even see my leek. I'm ready to take this out now. It is huge. I'm so proud of this leek. I grew it from cutting off the bottom of one from Coles and I grew it to that size. Um, I've got a potato in here too, and then, but it's a bit failed. This was eggplant, but it, I don't think it's getting enough sun, so it's died. And here are some um, elephant garlic, elef elephant garlic. In here is just a mixed bag of randomness, but it's mainly watercress that went to flower. It just didn't grow well. And then I have two little radishes, <laughs> just two. Here we have my beautiful calendula. It's really come up. It's loving all this rain. I think it's in a good spot. And all my lettuces are about to seed. I've cut like three or four already. I can't keep up with all the lettuce that I need to eat. Um, but I have no one to give it to because I never have visitors. <laughs> here are the rattlesnake climbing beans. One here and then one here. They're growing well. My sweet potato is a fail. It will not grow. I don't know. Maybe it will. I'm just leaving it there to see what happens. But oh, we've got a bee friend. Um, all my uh, mizuna has gone to seed. I'm just leaving the flowers there for the bees until I'm ready to change it over. Some random parsley has grown. And then these were two Swedes that were a little bit sad but they're fully grown now so I reckon I'll give them a maybe two weeks and I'll pick them out and eat them and then here are my bush beans these are my pride and joys these have grown so well and I actually have like a hundred seeds so I think it's going to be something I'll just continuously grow because they grow so well and then in between I have some beetroot I'm not a huge beetroot eater so I just have a few um, I was thinking about pickling them because I like pickled beetroot over fresh beetroot. There's nothing there. I'll eventually put maybe capsicum there, I'm thinking, because it has decent sun there. Um, my kale I've recently picked, same as my silver beet. All these calendulas that were dormant for so long have finally come up and they're like a variety of colours. They're so beautiful. All of my 17 broccolis flowered, all of them. That one hasn't yet, but it will. I'm just so devastated. So they'll be getting chopped down and putting in the compost. Oh, see that little guy? I'm just trying to, <laughs> the weeds are just out of control with all this rain. I cannot keep on top of it. And then these are really starting to come up my green onion shallot, whatever you call it. Um, I will, when they're all ready, chop them up and put them in the freezer. Super easy. And then I've interplanted with spinach and silver beet. And then here are some carrots. I planted so many and that's what's popped up. So I might do it again and try and fill in the gaps here because I do like growing carrots. That is everything so far. It's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. And then upstairs I have a couple of things. This is my elephant garlic, um, avocado, and this is uh, my little salad tray because it's close to my door. And then here are my blueberries. 
they're getting there. I'm so excited for my blueberries. I'm even more excited for next year when it's going to be bigger. But they're getting there. Very excited. There's a lot on there for a little plant. So I haven't vlogged in a really long time. Well, I have all makeup and everything because I'm going to go to work very soon. But um, I thought I just... I haven't been vlogging much because I know some of you really like it, but it does not get views. And I know that's not a reason to do a video, but also it takes a lot of time for me to edit. What I wanted to discuss with you guys is I have so many bag samples for my small business. If you don't know, I have a small business called Fetch Bags. I'll leave the link down below. And it's very slowly but starting to get some awareness um i'm getting my whole website redone and i'm so excited because i got no idea what i'm doing i was using a free template on shopify and it was just crapola um but i don't really know what i'm doing so i was like you know what sam just bite the bullet this whole business is an investment and i've paid a professional to do it so she's currently doing it she's on the ball i really like her she's doing it everything straight away um, so, so far I'm pretty happy with it all and I needed help moving over to Australia Post because Sendall doesn't send to all addresses and it was giving me grief. Like someone bought something and then Sendall said, oh, we're not going to send it. I was like, what do you mean you're not going to send it? We don't send to that address, sorry. Um, and it was a house address. So then I had to switch to AusPost for this one parcel. Then the woman didn't have any tracking. Oh my God, it was... A nightmare so I don't want to have to deal with that if I start getting more orders you know um, it was okay because I'm at a point where I don't have a lot of orders but it was more work than it needed to be so I'm just switching to Australia Post and I'll still use Sendall for like PR packages but yeah no not happy about that um, so I wanted to show you some parcels not parcels I wanted to show you my sample bags and I want your opinion like I'm not even going to do the surprise, surprise collections because I don't know what you guys want. Well, not you guys, but I don't know what customers want because I know what I like, but that might not be what sells. Like some of my favorite bags don't sell. Um, it's quite interesting what sells and what doesn't sell. So let me pop this here. I have lost, I have lost my tripod for my phone. Okay, I got my hair done yesterday and this lighting is insanely good. Okay, you can just see full disclosure what my house looks like. This is Vinny's photography studio and here's my office and here's where we have dinner. Everything all in one room. Um, and then this is what I'm wearing to work today. Nice and comfortable. So I think that's okay. I think you guys can see well. Let me show you everything. I think I have like 15 bags. So please tell me what is your favorite in the comments. It would mean so much to me. This is like consumer feedback that I really, really need because I'm so confused. I've already got another batch of samples being made. I ordered them last night of bags that I like but just needed to tweak. So there's some differences. This one I'm changing from orange to a green blue and green because someone told me it reminds them of a high vis vest and I was like oh yeah no you're right <laughs> see I need feedback because I actually really like this one I think it's great um, but I'm going to change it to blue and see what we think about that but I've got two of the two tones this is the other one I personally love pop art bold colors, not too much pattern. I'm a fan of that. And I feel like that's coming through in my brand that I like bold, but simple. I don't like over cluttered patterns, but that's, I mean, it's my brand. I have to have my aesthetic in it, don't I? So I've got these two bags. These are my two toned bags. Two tones. Two tones. Then I have three fetch bags with branding. I'm getting this one changed. I love the yellow, but you can't see the fetch writing. So I've made it lighter um, to see how that looks. Because what you design on the computer looks different to the product. 
and I don't have a Pantone book to know exactly what a colour looks like. So it is a bit of guesswork for me. I think in this next year I will invest in a Pantone book, but they're like $1,000. So I want to start making money before I spend all my money, you know. But I love the colours. These are fluoro, fluoro shades um, in my Fetch logo collection. So I already have three Fetch logo bags but they're like this so i wanted to add this add three to the collection so i've got this one this is what i can you can currently buy this one and this one so they've all got the green text with different colors um but i was thinking of doing more of like a print and i actually really love the colors i absolutely love them so i'm going to do the bigger print these are all different size prints this is a smaller print but i think i prefer the bigger print i think it looks better so that size print in these colours. So tell me if you like the Fetch logo. Um, then I have just like random prints. I don't have a, like a strict collection. So I'm just trying to add different prints in. Because my groceries collection, what I debuted with, was like the inspiration for this whole brand, basically. So... Now I just want to add some prints, you know. So here we have my Fetch branding colours, the light purple and the green, in like a swirl. So we'll call that the green swirl if you like that one. We have this blue flower print. This is a really beautiful colour blue, really pretty. So tell me if you like the blue flower print. Then we have the pink heart. I'm getting this changed. I think it's too dark. I might, I just need to compare it. I might go back to this, but I just need to compare it first. Um, this is way darker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a hot pink. So I'm getting this changed to, actually, I'll show you. I'm getting it changed to these two colors. So that's the background and then that's the pink heart. And I've changed the colors on this too. I don't like this yellow, it's too fluoro, and I've changed the pinks as well. So sometimes you just need to compare. I actually really like it. Maybe, I don't know, this is my rainbow, rainbow wave pattern, but I definitely want to change the yellow to a more warm yellow. Um, so tell me if you like the hearts, but that will, might change. It looks better in this lighting. In real lighting, it looks darker. Then we have this apricot flower print, um, which is really nice. I, I just kind of left this as is. I quite like, I don't think this needs any alterations or in colours and anything. So that's that one. Apricot flower. Then we have my splice. This is inspired by a splice that you eat in summertime. Um, the green, this green here, that's the background colour. I'm going to, I'm getting this altered to be more of a yellowy green, like a splice. I feel like it came out too green, like too close to this green. So I just wanted a little bit of contrast there, but this is the splice pattern. And then lastly, this is my favorite. This is the cherry. So I'm actually changing this to um, be a little bit more vibrant. I'm changing it to... Um, because I already see what these colours look like in reference. I'm changing it to this green here. So it's just a tiny bit more vibrant. And I've made the red a little bit more vibrant too. Because my intention was for this to be fluoro. You can kind of see it's just that little bit more lighter and brighter. So we're going to see how that goes. So tell me if you like the cherry. So yeah. Um, and then I also made mini versions these are so cute i don't think i'm going to do this this year i think this will be a next year task because i also have a budget and it's a minimum order quantity for each design so i'm not going to do too many designs i might do three i'll probably pick three in the end but here's a little mini version isn't this so cute i'm actually going to give this to my daughter my little fetch ambassador ivy is um but i wanted to see what they look like and then lastly I got wine bags made. I don't think I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do this yet either. I'll see how much they, I can't remember how much they cost, but I even got the little pouch custom made. 
but it's honestly so hard to get it back in the pouch. I don't even think it's worth having it. But it fits a bottle of wine. I don't even have any wine to put in it. But it fits a standard bottle of wine. The top goes to here, so nothing shows and you can properly hold it. Um, so I was even thinking of selling these in like a three pack or a two pack. Um, but yeah, let me know. Do you like the wine bag, the mini bag? Just give me any feedback. I'll take any of it. So now I'm going to make a couple of TikToks and then just go straight to work. I've got to use my time. I'm only working 11 to 4 today. And then after work, I'll pick up the children. So I just have like an hour and a half to get some stuff done. And then I'll go straight to work. So utilizing that time. But that's my update for now. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.